So we're going to go do a Tifa side quest now, or at least sort of a Tifa side quest. We'll see how this one plays out. It's a little bit weird. Hey, how you doing? What? Hey, mister. You a winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, you think you'd be able to win it back for me? The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks. And that slimy bastard. He... He's... So hey, I get it. I'm a bartender too. <laughs> you are? So then you know. You're so tough, I can't breathe. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby spade in the right hands. Mind if we go around? Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil, no problem! That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mind kicking his ass for me? And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again. So I guess it's really... Uh, the only connection that Tifa really has to this guy is they're both bartenders. And I guess she feels they're like they're kindred spirits. And like, ah, oh, we gotta help this guy because bartending can be soul-crushing, all that kind of stuff. But really, all these side quests that give you... Like, that raise the affection meter of your other characters... They don't really seem to have much of anything to do with your characters at all. I mean, this could have pretty much been any character, really, that we had been dealing with here. Oh, care for a match? We're here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So, Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him. <laughs> Fine, but word of warning. I'm not a pushover like some folks. Ah, damn. I really lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Fash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap. I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously. I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done. Am I right? Given us the runaround, or at least there aren't any fights or anything involved in this quest. We're just running around and we're tracking down this guy's card, going and challenging other people. Now, the uh, this is going to be a short episode because I just want to hammer out these side quests. And I'm going to be editing this down, chopping it up so you don't see a lot of running around, you know? But this, uh, this we just sort of have to show up at this building I had run past earlier and there's a guy in there that we can deal with. He's got the card that we're after. And here, it's across the field here. So let's just jump cut out there. Hey there. We folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that view. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. 
So, you game? <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy. You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. Then jump back to calm. You did it! You got my baby back! To be honest, this isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here. It's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. Okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. Though they did kind of tie it back to Tifa in the end, it was more of a connection with Tifa than Barrett's quest had with him. That didn't really make a lot of sense with him. But you know what it is what it is. 